testing out the um the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation and my color is 355 coconut might not focus but uh, I've been using this foundation for about like two months now and um this is just a BH cosmetic brush I had for probably like two years now but um this is just like a review for this product just to show you guys how I pretty much apply it but uh, as I was saying this foundation is pretty awesome the reason why I started using this foundation is because I ran out of my MAC Studio Pro Longwear foundation and I didn't have the money to purchase it right away because I usually get my MAC foundation whenever I get paid so I was t I got tired of like repurchasing the foundation over and over and over again because I'm like a full coverage girl so you know I go through a lot of foundation quickly so I was like okay I need to go get some foundation like right now that's not so expensive because I'm going to be getting the MAC foundation on my next check so I was like oh my god this is the perfect time to try out the Maybelline Matte Polish so I just went to my local Walgreens and um they actually had this last color, which is coconut. Cause I was looking at toffee, I saw coconut, and I also saw another color, I believe. I think it was cappuccino. I don't know. But I always kind of get a, a color that's a kind of darker than me because I know that I'd rather it be darker. So if I lose like a lighter a powder, I can balance her out. Versus me going too light and my powder doesn't balance her out because um <clears throat> I usually get the I usually have my MAC press uh, my MAC mineralized press powder in deep dark so that uh powder is pretty dark so if I tend to get light foundation that um powder pretty much balances it out because it's so dark but since I don't have it right now, I've been using the, um, I was about to show you guys in a second, Black Radiance, I believe. And I don't apply makeup up there because this is like, just like a quick makeup or whatever. If you guys want to see like an outfit, not an outfit of the day, but, um, a everyday makeup tutorial just let me know and I'll be happy to, to do one for you guys now I am gonna put on some concealer today which I usually don't do for everyday but there's like different everyday kind of makeups depending on what you're doing for that specific day so remember this is just a review for this particular for this particular foundation but um the concealer that I'm using is the Select Cover Up by MAC. And I'm just going to set it really quick. Remember, I'm not going to show you guys what I'm going to set it with, but it's by. This is by Maybelline. May Ugh. This is by Maybelline as well. See how quick and easy that was. And the powder that I'm going to use is the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder. 
And the reason why I'm using this is because, okay, sorry about that. But, um, yes, again, the reason why I'm using this powder as well is because I don't have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark right now. So these are just the drugstore products that I've been using until I pretty much get them. And this is what I use to set my Maybelline Matte Poreless and Coconut Foundation. Just like that. And I'm just gonna apply some blush. Some blush, 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 blush. And the blushes that I like to use is actually a combination between MAC Raisin and MAC Ambering Rose. I tend to put Raisin on first. Not too much because it's like an everyday, but you can put a lot, but it's just a little. Since this is like a everyday kind of makeup look. And then on top of that, I usually just probably stop here. But I've been putting Milani Mineralized Blush to give it like an extra pop. <clears throat> to give it like an extra pop in Rose Dior. I'm not showing you guys the colors because you have to kind of request the makeup tutorial so I can show you guys fully in depth what I'm doing. This is just, again, a foundation review. So, to kind of finish things off, I'm going to just line my lower lash with black. Okay, so... I'm gonna do a little contouring. I'm just applying Okay, and as a finishing touch I'm going to put back on some of my Vaseline Cocoa butter for my lips Just to moisturize them again and Then I'm going to just apply some gloss This is just some gloss that I've been having for years I remember since it's everyday, you never want to like kind of do too much with, with the lips because 
the lips would definitely kind of finish off the look to make sure it gives you that everyday kind of makeup look and not like so crazy. Okay, guys, so as you guys can see, this is pretty much overall finished look. And I hope you guys enjoy the review. And I hope you guys kind of enjoy the finished outcome. So, this would probably honestly be like my. third bottle this is my third bottle so I have been using this for quite some time before I actually did the review and I honestly I love it I will give this foundation a overall 9 out of 10 only because this makeup I mean this foundation does transfer over so be mindful when you're hugging people to not hug them too hard or to hug them from kind of like the neck down so you can get the foundation on their clothes or on yours so this is a great foundation a 9 out of 10 it's amazing I would say this would probably be like a dupe for it kind of is a MAC dupe I would say probably a like hmm could it be a MAC dupe we'll see if this is like a MAC dupe because I actually bought the dewy finish so I have this one and I actually have the Maybelline fit me dewy finish one and I'm going to try that one out and see do I like that one better because the reason why I got the matte one is because I have a mineralized finishing powder over it so the mineralized powder would kind of make it look like you know great and while we're saying about that I'm going to just set my face really quick with the dewy finish and this is why I got the matte because a lot of my products I use are actually dewy so I don't want like too much dewy, 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 dewy. And matte kind of tends to stay in place foundation wise versus the dewy. Because dewy kind of kind of move. I wouldn't say it moves around, but it just makes it look very natural. So matte is kind of more full coverage. Okay, so overall, I would really suggest that you guys really go out and purchase that as like a backup foundation to have in your beauty kits or in your own personal at home kind of kits for you to have. Just in case you do run out of that high end makeup foundation that you have, you will always have a backup one just like just in case. Because the thing with the expensive ones is, you know, you have bills and other stuff. So, sometimes you may run out of it at the wrong time. So, it's it's always good to have a backup to make sure you're okay. And you're going to be very satisfied with the finished product once you do use your backup. So, overall, like I said, I give it a 9 out of 10. As you see, it does an amazing job of covering up. And this is just every day. And I always apply from the eye down. I never apply it here when I'm doing it every day because, like, I don't want it. It kind of defeats the purpose. So when it's every day, you always want to cut your makeup time in half. So I kind of just do it from here down. And it also prevents me from like, having makeup like all up under here since I have hair there and stuff. And, you know, if you have makeup there forever, it just makes you break out and stuff. And we're trying to avoid that as much as possible. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to know about the hair, there's a review coming soon. So, check out for that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll talk to you beauty bugs later. Bye.